guys welcome back to another video as some of you may have known i'm a quality assurance engineer and today i'm just going to tell you guys how i got into qa there's only um a week that passes by that i don't get questions from you guys asking how i got started from instagram or whatsapp or twitter asking how i got started as a qa engineer and i just felt like a video should do justice like on how I got started. Honestly, um, I've been a little bit skeptical about talking about my journey as a QA engineer because it hasn't been like a, a typical um, QA engineer journey, but <sighs> it won't all to actually talk about it. So before I get into the video, I'd like to briefly explain what a QA is and the job of a QA. So QA is um, quality assurance engineer. And the job of a QA engineer is to ensure the quality of the products or services by designing, executing test plan, and identifying bugs and um, defects and working closely with the developer's team. This is to ensure that the quality of the product or services meet up with the product requirements. I hope, <laughs> I hope that was clear. Anyways, let's get straight into how I got started. As someone that um, had no knowledge of tech, I had no tech background or anything, I studied real estate in, school, in uni and honestly, I love real estate. Real estate, I really love real estate. Well, I, I genuinely at that point in my life was not feeling it and I wanted something more. Then I started my tech journey in 2021 where I uh, picked interest in UIUX. And I did UIUX for like about five to six months. I took um, two courses on Udemy and I was about going for an upgrade class when um, I realized that I don't think I enjoy being a UI UX designer. Um, I felt like I did not have the initiative. I'm sorry to say that, but I felt like I was not smart enough, like design thinking, I'm not somebody that just think like that. Like you can't ask me a question and I give you an answer like that. I need to like think and think and think about some things. So I felt like I might just end up being a designer that that ends up um, copying people's work, and that is not what I want to be in my life. I was learning UI US designing for six months, and I gave up. So unfortunately, then my laptop got spoiled, and I gave up on it. So um, fast forward to 2022 beginning of 2022, a friend reached out to me and was like, yo, do you know about QA, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, no, I've not heard about QA before. And I was like, okay, um, I should take a course on it and see if I enjoy it. And genuinely, I took one course on Udemy and I genuinely love it. And that was how my journey as a QA started. After taking the first um, course, I finished the first course like two months after and I was like, okay, what next? And I decided to take another course on Udemy also. Um, I can't remember the name. I'm going to insert it um, in the description box. After taking the course, the second course, I met a QA and senior QA engineer now and I met him like yo. So I moved to QA six months ago and this is where I am now, blah blah blah. And he advised me on how to get started and he gave me a tax to <laughs> to do an exploratory testing on some I can't remember, I can't really remember the app and I did it. It took me like three weeks to finish up the tasks and it was so encouraging and it told me what and what I needed to improve on. Then then I realized that I don't think I know what I think I know. Then I asked him about academies, Kiwi academies, just to go and um, he recommended some for me and I looked through and I went to an academy. So after the academy, while in the academy, know that I've done six months training and I know most of the things. Like the first one month, two months in the academy, it was manual testing, they were teaching us. So I know most of the things they were teaching us. So it was not really hard for me. Then when we moved to um, coding, the, I learned Python, I learned Java. That was like the hard part of me. I never really enjoyed um, coding. And that was the reason why I did not... <laughs> do any other course. I never knew about QA, I never heard about QA. And why QA is that one non-code tech that is not so popular. I mean, UI is everywhere and everything. So I never really knew about QA until my friend told me about it. After I started learning Python at, at the academy, it was really hard for me because I did not know that I was going to learn code. I thought he said, I don't need to code. Why am I learning Python for God's sake? But I got to understand that there are different parts of QA you can be a manual tester, you can be an automation tester, you can be a performance tester, you can be an API tester, 
anything you want kiwi just know about my well, testing there's so many other parts of kiwi and i genuinely said i enjoying it more so the academy lasted for eight months i guess so at my sixth month in the academy i started looking for internship and um I, I i didn't know how to get started honestly i didn't know anybody that's a qa engineer my was a senior qa engineer and i i something about me is that i don't know how to ask for help i started asking my friends i know their developers begging them to open their jobs on any to any available projects they are doing just for me to test it for free just to have something in my cv and do some other things while I was doing that i was also laying my hand on any project i could do i tested child egg i did an exploratory testing on child egg i wrote down test cases wrote down everything the bugs i found i tested a facebook app yes i tested facebook i tested um some other travel um company um websites and so many other projects i just knew i wanted to improve myself nobody talks enough about how depressing it is looking for jobs like I spent like a lot of time looking for a job. I literally applied to like 50 jobs a day on LinkedIn. I opened LinkedIn. I applied to jobs every day. After that, I got um, two offers at the end of the day, and I was I had to choose one of one of them, and I chose my current job. Right now, I work in one of the biggest um white label ticketing solution company in the middle east i genuinely love being a qa engineer and my favorite part of being a qa engineer is finding bugs and working with talented developers honestly so my advice for people that um wants to get started as a qa engineer both people that have no knowledge no tech knowledge and people that has tech knowledge um i would advise for you to just start honestly starts by maybe taking courses on udemy on coursera youtube there are free courses online and you can go to actually go to software testing school there is one that i would really recommend that is testify um they are everywhere you can check them on their websites their linkedin twitter everywhere i really recommend this school after learning for six months don't think you would get a job in that six month span or one year span honestly just keep on doing your thing trying to build your cv trying to be on your zoom i mean trying to improve yourself learn more open more projects to have experience because honestly you would think after the six months of course you would think oh you already know what you are doing until you open a job and you realize that i actually don't know anything i felt that way maybe i actually did i actually did feel that way you can't get a full-time job without experience keep learning don't stop learning i myself i'm still learning i i i was a manual tester for a year like i focused mainly on manual testing for a year and i just recently started um moving to automation and right now i'm learning python and javascript so i'm still learning learning does not stop it might actually be difficult in the beginning especially for people like us that had no tech experience or no tech knowledge it might be difficult but trust me it actually does get better in case you have any question or feedback don't forget to just um comment down below thank you for watching bye